challenge. So, if pastor's occupation wasn't a pastor, what can you see him doing and why? Um, I could see him being a, a singer slash instrument player of some sort because he has that kind of talent. Awesome. And one more thing. Um, what do you have to say about your pastor? Any words of uh, encouragement or anything like that? Uh, yeah, keep up with the comedy because it, it lifts our spirit up. So I think that's something good about it. So Kua, if pastor can have one car, what would it be and why? Oh man, if he could have one car, I think he'll have a Toyota Supra. Why? Uh, I don't know who wouldn't want a Toya Supra. So um, today's Pastor Appreciation Day. So um, look into Toya Supra. Awesome. And one more thing. So any words of encouragement for your pastor? Uh, pastor, just don't ever give up. I know sometimes us youth can, you know, be um, disobedient or sometimes we don't listen. But you know, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your encouragement and just your, you know, your wisdom that you have just continuously um, just taught us over the years. So we just want to thank you for that and we you know, pray that God continue to bless you and your family. So Emily, if Pastor can go on a vacation to anywhere in the world aside from Thailand because he's been there so many times, where do you think he might want to go and where? Uh, Israel. Yeah. And why? Yes. Um, because it's a like, place in the Bible that is pretty important. Or no, did I say Israel? I meant Jerusalem. <laughs> Can we read to that? Any words of encouragement for your pastor? Um, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing really good. Lance, so if pastor could be any character from the Bible, aside Jesus, who do you think pastor resembles the most? Well, I would like to say like Job, because like I feel like if everything was taken from him, he'd still kind of like go to God and say, you know, those are things that you've given to me and it's appropriate that you take them from me too, you know. I feel like that's the kind of man that Pastor is, a very manly man. Awesome. Um, any words of encouragement for your Pastor? Pastor, you're super cool, man. You even have me sticking around. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blessing and a curse for you. Just kidding. But uh, thanks for being our pastor. Super cool. You know how to play the drums. Teach me. Yeah. So Unity. If your pastor was a comic superhero, who do you think he would be and why? Um, <laughs> um, comic superhero. I think he would be, um, um, one hour later, um, two hours later, um, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. He would be Iron Man. Because if you haven't watched Endgame yet, I'm gonna spoil it. But in Endgame, he's like basically like the main character of Endgame. And like at the end, he's like, Psh! and he like dies and stuff. But, oh. <laughs> and then I'll catch you. I feel like Iron Man just has that leadership role. And like stuff like that, just he killed himself just to save the world. That shows a lot of sacrifice. And. The pastor sacrifices a lot for the church, and he has a very leadership role. So yes, I would say Iron Man. Awesome. Any words of encouragement for the uh, for pastor? Um, words of encouragement. Good job. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I know you don't have a lot of time at home. I mean, at, at your office to make 
these lessons and stuff because you're always so busy. But you take time to make them anyways and you don't take any days off unless you really have to. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep that. <laughs>